Mark, you've signed a two-year extension with the club. Um, first of all, what's your thoughts on signing the new, the new deal? Um, delighted with it. You know, it's, it's the manager approached me this season, the beginning of the season, and Scott and obviously Robo as well now. And you know, it was nothing for for me. It was always um, you know just making sure everything was right. But I just think being a part of the, the club for as long as I have so far, and you know, I'm really looking forward to the promising season, hopefully ahead. And then also the stuff that's going off the field as well. You know, having spoken to Scott and. You know, the sporting director as well. It was really positive going forward with that as well. So yeah, the whole entire sort of outlook looks really, really bright for the club. And as I said, to be here for as long as I have, and you know, to continue. And for me, the ultimate goal is obviously to reach the Premier League still with this football club, and I intend to hopefully fulfil that before I leave. Yeah, just the sort of positive outlook on on the field and off the field is that maybe the key the key reason to deciding to commit your future. No, it is, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's the little things that make a massive difference. First of all, you know, I'm enjoying playing football again. You know, I love it. You know, I'm from here. It makes a massive difference because I'm, I'm in no rush to move anywhere else, really. Off the field, like the personal stuff with me and my wife and stuff that we've been going through, you know, there's, there's a lot of positivity and stuff coming from that, really. And just little things as well, like being able to, like on Saturday there, it was, it was my, my nephew's birthday after a game, so I went down to see him and... I had two other nephews, like they, they started nursery and being able to just see that little things and then took my other nephew to the clock game on Friday and stuff. These are little things that I've missed out on when I moved away when I was younger. And I remember when the manager, like, you know, talked about a new contract, I went home and spoke to my wife about it and we, we you know, we had a big thought and do I really want to go and sort of look elsewhere or, you know, take up some of the stuff that was potentially there for me. But I just thought, no, the best thing to do is, you know, stay here. I said, do what I want to do and get this club in the Premier League and you know hopefully as I said that, that this this season you know would be ideal but you know if not I think everyone's going in the right direction so it, it's definitely it was a, it was a no-brainer really and it's sort of a sense of like home at this club do you do you feel that sort of feeling here Oh yeah, you know I love it. You know that's what I'm saying the people behind the scenes you know even from like yourself to the receptionist to the, the girls in them offices, like everyone, you know, I get on brilliant with them and, you know, everyone's brilliant with me and I think that's what it is and that's what I'm saying. If you can en go and enjoy football on and off the field, you know, it becomes a, a lot, lot easier to be able to just go out and perform week in and week out and, you know, you've got these people supporting you off the field as well and it's it's, it's excellent and I love it and, and I think that's one of the big things, as I said, when when making the decision to stay at the football club and I think the whole all-round picture, was, as, as I say, the picture was perfect for me and it just, you know, it's something to look forward to. And like I said, it's it's, it's that's done now. And you know, now moving forward is is the, the aim comes to Saturday. Hopefully, we can get the, you know, the three points and to continue on our push to, to try and get promoted. Yeah, and just looking at yourself, you know, your performance since you come here being the number one and 59 clean sheets in that time. That's a record you'll be proud of. No, I'm yeah, really to, sorry. Yeah, these stats, you know, it's you know when they keep coming and stuff. I think. It was after the 50th one then, you know, the, someone brought the record up to me and it was a case of, you know, trying to, t like, target that, which, it, you know, personally I am, you know, yeah. definitely now it's there, it's within reach, so I have to keep going for that, but I think ultimately, as says, you know, it's the consistency, how I've performed, you know, and it's like not to blow my own trumpet, you know, I'm really happy with how I've performed over the, the, the previous years and, you know, it helps obviously when the team are, are doing their part as well, and which has started this season, in the league especially, we've, we've managed to do that, and we've got, you know, three clean sheets on the bounce, three wins on the bounce as well, which is really, really important, so, yeah, it's just all fitted in perfect, and as I said, the timing of, you know, signing this, and we, we, it was just all, you know, it was happy to get it done, and I was really, as I said, looking forward to it, as I said, if more clean sheets, then more points for the team. Yeah, and you were just saying about the start of the season there, three clean sheets and three wins. Um, Kilmarnock on uh, Saturday, how are you looking forward to that one? It's going to be a test for us, you know, and I think the one thing is, is, is everyone you know talks about in there, obviously the ones now that are favourites for this league, but I think every game in a championship, what you do is you, you get different tests from different teams and, you know, Kilmarnock have added a lot of players and, you know, it's, it's one of those games that we have to go and put ourselves and test ourselves against that because if we want to go on and, you know, do what we, we, we want to achieve at the end of the season, we have to go to places like Kilmarnock and, you know, try and pick up points and, you know, and it's these are the games really that we'll be able to test ourselves and, and know where we're really at. But it, it's you know we can't get carried away. It's only the fourth game, so we've still got a lot more to go. But mm -hmm. you know, if we can go out there and get a positive result again, you know, it definitely stead us for like in a good stead going forward for the for the remainder of the season. Yeah. Mark, thank you very much. That's no worries. Thank you.